Now, it's not every day you wake up on a new dawn and a new day and you witness Russell and Carl Fredrickson fighting off an attack from miniature tanks. But that is exactly how I am starting my week. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. Where my name is Tom and I am determined this week to get this garage tidied, this room emptied, and what was once a gamer's dream office reinstalled in this stuff's place. So with one step at a time, we're gonna shut the door, say hello to Kevin, and leave it till later. Cause good morning, Miss Prego. 14 days to go till the baby's here. Oh my gosh, officially two weeks. <sighs> slightly terrifying, but slightly explains why those tasks are on pause. Because we've got things to do and places to be to be ready for this baby. Step one, Sainsbury's. But we're taking a pit stop at Timpson's to get myself a copy of some keys. And now we shop. But you can consider me impressed. Wow. <laughs> that is a lot of tea and we came here for only essentials but i could not leave without a monster truck <laughs> she's not impressed because i've got two lydia just went what's that and i'm like i bought myself a batmobile i could not do it essential items only now we're using the argos that is inside sainsbury's to collect an item as to what it is i don't know turns out it's the uh, baby seat for the car so i will be installing that later today. All right, swift trip to Sainsbury's completed. And we're back outside the house. And what, what is that? <laughs> Stop. The eight times table just started playing. But hang on a second. There's a dog loose around this house. Hi, Alice. You look like you've got fake tan on. Ah, uh, no, ain't nobody catching a suntan in this weather. But here we are bringing even more cardboard into the home. Let's not even discuss the amount of trees I've potentially killed. But let's go back down into the basement. Where it's happening. It, it's actually happening. Oh my gosh. Hi, Mum. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> We're finally reclaiming our house from Syndicate Original, who successfully shipped out almost, almost every single summer rain collection. And guess what? I got Arlo. It's a monster truck! You were so cute. You started high and the monster truck was on the side and you went, Ha! Yeah! Oh, Nino! Good to see you. Oh my gosh, what's happened here? Part of me was thinking that you'd be like, No more monster trucks! But every time I see one, I have to buy it for the baby. You can't just keep telling me what to do. I'm trying on samples for Syndicate Original. Ooh, wow, look at me wearing a bit of cream. Ooh, sand. sand. It was definitely sand. Now, as you'd see, Alice is wearing a very creased top right now, which we won't talk about, but this is the embroidered Syndicate Original logo that we had from ages ago. But lots of people have been saying, Tom, can we have the embroidered Syndicate Original text on a t-shirt? And you know what? I like it. I like it a lot. You already know what I'm gonna say. It should be black. It should be sand and black. What is, do you listen? Oh, like that. But the stitching's not right on that one. But yeah, yes, yes. I am right. She is wrong. And it is that time of the vlog to say. It's lunchtime. Yeah, don't need to go anywhere near that garage. Thank you very much. She's made me, I was going to say a panini, but it's not. What is it called? A toasty. A toasty. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh, this is easily. One of my favourite childhood lunches of all time. Ham and cheese toasty. Now, I'm eating this, then tidying that. But in between that, I found this in the garage. The Ninja Cream. It's an ice cream maker, but it can also make sorbet, light ice cream, smoothie bowl, gelato, and milkshakes. I'll explain it for my birthday. I know. Should we try and make a milkshake? Thank you. <laughs> Might, might need a milkshake if, I, if I've got all that hard work of garage to clean out. But all right, that was lovely. And here we go. Over to the fridge. We're going to whap it open. And oh my gosh, look at that. That is the, the manliest of fridges. We're taking a can of Lucozade. I know, quite weird. And we're walking back out of the garage. You're going to be like, well, what? When are you going to tidy it? <laughs> and the answer is, after we get back from going to a mill, which uh, we're going to have to hurry to go to because it closes at a whopping half past three. So in 27 minutes. So Lydia's putting the bad boy in reverse and we're heading that way. Because it takes us to a place called Pear Mill. And yes, this is where I went and did the rock climbing. And shout out to Lydia. I've never spotted this before, but that's why it's called Pear Mill. There's pears literally everywhere. Look. There's even one up there as well. And I know I don't need to go in, but there's a vintage emporium here. Basically, junk that I don't need 
but I'm very interested. However, we're nipping into beautiful Bambino to ask some questions about prams. Which one is fastest? I like it, Picasso. What? You've got normal prams, but then you've got <laughs> e-prams. No way. Electrical assisting prams to push. That's amazing. You can't write it. I know. So this shop that we've gone into, turns out it's owned by a guy who lives at the top of our road and not to try and be in it stupid here, but I knew this, but I thought he owned a place in a completely different location. And we walked in, it was like, oh yeah, we live on your road. I was like, why have we not come here sooner to buy absolutely everything from you? But there you go. They if are we, the yeah, the, so the nicest definitely people. Definitely recommend. Them and just like to throw out here, it did not close at half three. It closed at five. Google Maps was wrong. It closed at five. So there you go. But if we need anything else, we know where we're going. Oh, and you remember I was pointing out there, being like, "There's a pair, a pair, and a pair." Well, one of the more main reasons it's called called pair called pair mill is because of that. The big ass pair. On top of it. Now, you know, in a daily vlog, I'm supposed to vlog my day, but I ended up having a meeting with an accountant, not my accountant, but a accountant, about a certain something. Um, and that meeting kind of went from four o'clock till late, and it's now do, 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 quarter to eight. Um, and I know I keep joking about, haha, I'm going to tidy this garage, I promise. Well, the answer is I am going to do, but I am exhausted. I just thought I'd keep this vlog as real as it should be, and that is, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm knackered. But as they say in the biz, it is what it is, so there's no time like the present than me to just randomly pick up um, items I have laying around the house to start to make this garage look good. And it's at this point now, I'm gonna have to make the decision as to whether or not I'm gonna have time before it's midnight to empty this entire room out to somewhat turn it into an office However, <laughs> Syndicate Original have cleared out all the stuff from inside here. So you could say there's technically nothing stopping me. And one sec, let me just get rid of this. Because, you know, just casually walking around with weaponry is a little bit random. But would you look at this? It's completely empty. This, is, this just feels bizarre. Shout out to my mum, Alice and Nino, for just nuking this place. So as I'm saying, there's nothing stopping me from taking all that in here and putting it over there. Yes, I know I'm just doing the whole thing of moving this to there and then it's a problem for later, but uh, I just have no idea how to organize this in the slightest. All I know is I need an office. But okay, time to make room in the den downstairs because this is where the stuff from the garage is indeed getting stored. What was once a cinema room with a projector in the ceiling is now my organization cupboard of uh, bedding, nerd stuff, and Christmas shite. Basically, this is the room where everything goes, where it will get used, it will get organized eventually. But once it's in here, you don't have to worry about it. But as for the garage, I am sick of seeing this stuff all day, every day. So it's going downstairs where it belongs. Until one day someone says, Tom, have you got a spare chair? And I say, yes, I have six. And just in case they don't satisfy you, we got bean bags and swivel chairs. Now I've only done two trips up and down the stairs and I can smell food. This is now one of Lydia's specialties she makes. Leap wild. Free not farmed yellow tuna. And she's about to turn it into a delectable tuna steak dinner. <clears throat> oh, don't mind if I do. This dish inspired from the Cayman Islands. Mmm. 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 She's good. Now dinner was lovely, mm -hmm. but we're just gonna keep you guys in the loop with me and Lydia. We've both got pretty gippy tummies, haven't we? And you think you might, your mum might as well. So I don't know if it's something with eat, eating or not. But we've both got, we've, well, has your mum got a bad stomach? Yeah, all three of us have got bad stomachs. To the point where, like, Lid was in the lounge before and she was like, uh, I'm either going into labour or I'm going to the toilet. I've got a bit of a gippy tummy. And even I'm, I'm walking around the house and I know it might sound stupid, but like, as I'm like vlogging, doing all this, my entire body for some reason just feels, I feel weak. I feel like a hollow skeleton. I'm just a bit like, ugh. But I was wondering like, oh, maybe it's because we've not eaten anything. So hopefully we feel a bit better in a minute. But if not, um, just to preface you guys that if Lydia does end up going into labor at any point, which she could do, um, this is going to be some hella timing. You could say shit will quite literally hit the fan. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope not right now. 
Imagine, imagine being having me out of anyone who gets food poisoning the most out of anyone gets food poisoning when a baby arrives. Not sure for like two weeks as well. Yeah, bed bound. <sighs> so you're gonna have to bear with us for the rest of this vlog. I was just about to get your belly rumbling on camera so people would believe me, but I'm sure everyone in the comments is just gonna be like, "You just don't want to tidy the garage, Tom." And I'm like, "No, no, 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 no! It's happening. One item." At a time. <laughs> yeah, I've got a feeling this garage clean is not going to be an easy task. I'm now scouring through the stuff I've got in here and, oh, spare tyre, anybody? Don't mind if I do. Box of Cocoa Pops that went out of date in 2022? Anyone? It's a bloody gold mine in here. However, the same can't be said for in here. This is all my random shoes that I've collected over the years. We won't talk about these. We won't talk about these. Well, actually, all the way from Texas, Oklahoma. Lovely. But what I'm really trying to avoid is, oh my gosh, is this a map? I think this is what my... Gra no way. This is actually... Oh my gosh. 2013's Big Easy Read of Britain map book that my granddad bought me when I passed... Are you ready for this? My motorbike test. Imagine getting on a motorbike and like... Str Strapping that up your shirt so you can just get about from A to B. But you know what, Grandad? It was a thought that counts. Thank you. He's still here with us in spirit, cracking us up. But not as cracking as all this I've just found. Inside there, if we open up one of these, it is a photo album of my granddad when he was younger. There's my grandma. There's, there's my granddad looking like he's about to knock somebody out. And come on, you've simply got to respect the drip. What a bloke. Anyway, back to the clean where I found a random box of flour. As you do. I've discovered a million rabbit poo. And some cornflakes. Place your bets on what's the dates. Kellogg's cornflakes, mega pack, out of date, 2022. Delicious. Oh, you look at that. Just randomly found two fire extinguishers. Because I guess, w why not? And somebody called 911 because, oh boy, if that baby's coming out whilst I'm stuck in the toilet, we are in for a shit situation. Just have this be known that this right here is the face of a man with food poisoning, but also vlogger dedication. This face right here, hello, nice to see you, uh, is Vlogger Dedic. Vlogger? Vlogger. Vlogger dedication. I am getting on top of this place. I might be taking 20 more trips to the toilet, but I said I'm getting shit done. Should have really worded that differently at the start of the day, shouldn't I? But it, we are, and we're getting there. I've also had um, a bit of an idea. I'm noticing that there's just so much stuff on the floor space scattered everywhere. And I can't really put it anywhere else. So I'm thinking that we should order some of these that I've got in the basement to stack up all the drinks, all the randomness, all the fire extinguishers. And then that way I'll get a bit of floor space back. And this is going to make me sad, but I think this giant's got to go. I'm either going to put it in the basement or something, but it's got no pedals on it. I don't ride it. The only reason why I'm not getting rid of it is because I think it looks sick as anything. And I got gifted it for free from Giant themselves years and years ago when I went to France. So I don't really want to get rid of it, but I'm just not using it, so I might as well get rid of it out of the garage and put it, you know where? That's right, the basement. But hey, would you look at that? We got room. Well, the neck, I'm not even kidding. I've not been able to stand here in probably the last five years. So much room for activities. Now, I'd love to say I could move the TV, but that is definitely a two-man job. So this is staying there for now, which means that chair's got to stay there and that chair's got to stay there to keep it balanced. I'm not sure a crate of spicy water needs to be sat under it. So I'll shove that to the side. And I can already see how one, if not two, of those shelving units will transform the garage. Just like, look how much stuff is just on the floor because I've got nowhere to put it. 200 IQ play right there. But there was a reason why I was cleaning this out earlier and it's for this sort of stuff because, whoa, whoa, oh my gosh, this is what, flipping heck, did the cramp twins teach me nothing? Never take something from the bottom. But it is what it is and I'm getting that out of there. I couldn't even tell you what it actually is, but it's something to do with the beer pump when it was once in use. Still a cracking piece of kit, that. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's just that from experience, all the setup and messing around of this, having to clean it and maintain it and all that sort of shit, is so much effort when you can just buy like a full crate of Peronis from Costco for like less than 20 quid. Uh, nice in theory, but pretty pointless. But the whole point of me emptying this is so I can get a bit more storage and potentially stack these shoes a little bit better. But before I do anything, yep, it's starting to get painful at this point. Do, 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 do. I'm hating it. Okay, it is about 20 minutes later. Your boy is not feeling too good.
We got this. We can do it. But like, I'm freezing. I'm like, I feel like I'm freezing cold, so I'm just hiding under this blanket. <sighs> we can do it. Right, we're back in the cleanup job, and oh my gosh, what have I found here? What is this? I actually thought this might have been what it is, and it's low fog for the smoke machines that I've got for around like Halloween times and parties. But for some reason, I just bought it in absolute bulk. And as to what the heck that is, I just do not know. It wasn't plugged in in the slightest. I'm sure it was at one point, but what? Looks like it belongs in a bomb. Oh, there's a bit of a wiggle. Um, I have this massive canister in here that definitely still contains something, but I'm not even touching that at night. Last time I messed around with anything with gas, um, a fridge blew up in my face. So I'm just gonna say that'll do nicely for now. And if you thought you'd seen everything that you possibly could have of the most randomness in this garage, I have got a trump card. Uh, no, not that kind of trump. I've legitimately got a kitchen restaurant grade quality waffle maker. Why? Quite frankly, I don't have a flying fucking clue. But I do, and I could be giving it away to one of you. Because I've not used it since I've got it, and I would like to get rid of it now. I want to be able to say to you, wow, when I open this door, ta-da, it's like a perfectly brand new garage, but it's not. Until the TV and the chairs can go, I get that sent off to get fixed, and find a home for these other things. Like, I don't know, the $700 Call of Duty ray gun, which I've tried to return to them, but they're just not responding via email. Until I can move these things, the garage, it's as, as good as it's gonna get. I think you've done a great job. Oh, thank you. Give or take the toilet T trips I've been taking. How are you feeling? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. She handles bugs and like illness way better than me. Me, it writes me off for ages, doesn't it? I'd rather just get on with my day, but like, it just bed bounds me. I do feel grim, to say the least. Could really do without this. <laughs> Could do without it. Yep, especially when I said I think Jelly Man's gonna be arriving, you know, a few days early. What did I say? Friday this week. I'm gonna have to ask you to hold on, my friend, because <laughs> uh, Dad is definitely not ready. I've been ready this entire time, but up until today, Nah, man, it's written me off. It's got me written off, Lydia written off, and Lydia's mum. So it's something we've all collectively eaten, not just something me and Lydia have eaten, like, today or yesterday just by ourselves. Her mum's had it as well, so... I think this garage portion of the vlog is coming to a close. Till next time, mess. Honestly, couldn't even imagine there being a child here in our lives and me feeling like this. <laughs> just my look just my look and just for sake of conversation do you think i need any more bottles of water by the side of my bed every time i come up <laughs> i'm like the kid from the movie signs if you if you've ever seen that film you'll get that reference if you haven't you're gonna be confused as all hell but at least i can fight off aliens by gosh this is where i love bev the cleaner she's oh look at that she's put my snood up here my christmas snood it's a bit not in keeping with the times right now but She's put fresh bedding on for us. And I'm going to be allowed to just mong out and not have to get up to do anything whatsoever. It's going to be, it's going to be great. It's going to be absolutely golden. Syndicate Original is not waking us up in the morning turning up. Tony the Painter Decorator is not here. It truly can just be, hopefully, a good night's sleep and a day of rest. The one way to get better, watch some Ahsoka and Lydia just hands me tablets and I take them. Medicine cap. <laughs> I don't know if I've got the right cap. This is the most genuine life of Tom you're ever getting now. When I get ill, she is like my ultimate carer, aren't you? This, this kind of ill, like, like obviously I've got it as well, but I just, I, de I deal with it so differently than Tom. Tom I wish, I mentally I'm there, I'm like, no, I can I do this, do but I my body just doesn't let me. That's what you need. She's giving me a buff scapan. What does that do? And drink some of that because it'll get all the goodness back in your body. <laughs> do do a life vlog, this they is said. So often it actually happens. Look, I've got a diary light next to the bed as well. <laughs> <laughs> because when you get ill, you just it's oh, literally like I can tell I'm going to be one of them old people that's just got millions of problems with them. I'll shot myself. I've <laughs> not had it for a while, to be fair. No, yeah. yeah. I've not been ill for a long time.
So it is now half past one in the afternoon. Not even kidding. And I've only just woken it up. How many times were you up in the night? I was up since about three o'clock. I think I, I think I woke up at like once at four, went to the bathroom and then slept through. You 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 slept through. I didn't want to disturb you at all. So I was like, I'm hoping he's sleeping it off. <laughs> I know, we're, we're really just hoping it's a bug, but um, I think you guys have had enough of my poop poop talk, but uh, unfortunately this is just part of my, my life, and this is how I'm waking up, and this is how I'm ending my vlog, so yeah, sorry for that guys, I don't know what tomorrow's vlog's going to be like, because I'm pretty much just there and <laughs> absolutely exhausted, bless your face, bless your face. I was wondering if there was one more, but yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna wrap up this vlog now. I'm sorry to uh, be the bearer of bum news, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we're just gonna take it easy tomorrow, and uh, it's gonna be a pretty boring day in the life of Tom. Sorry about that one. High five. High five. I love you. Love you. We spoke to a midwife as well to let him know about Lydia's situation, and we got like the kind of up the old clear, didn't we? Of yeah, as long as I can keep like, certain symptoms of everything. If you get to like, I've just been making sure I drink lots of water. I've drank Lucasaid and you know Lucasaid Sport and Diarolite and stuff. So just yeah, make sure I keep hydrated. So just in case everyone's wondering, anyone wondering, because I can imagine the comments and I'll be like, get to a doctor immediately. We've spoken to someone and all is a okay. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with my ear, but I am going now. So thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like, great. In. Leave a comment down below about what was the worst part of this vlog. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow at 7pm-ish for maybe a 30 second long vlog. I don't know. Because I've not even started the new one yet. So I'm going. Much love and adios.